Hey everybody, this is Pablo again with Mattress Makers. And in this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we finally get to take apart the Casper mattress. Let's go. Okay everybody, so we finally get to do the Casper mattress. This has been um, requested by, by uh, several people um, to take apart a Casper mattress and we finally got one. We got one a few weeks ago from a customer. Um, they've had it for a few years and it is um, starting to give them a little bit of a dip and we decided perfect let's take it apart let's see what's happening so the casper mattress if you don't know anything about the casper mattress they are i would say probably the most popular bed in the box online mattress company these guys have been around since 2014. they're definitely probably the biggest boys on the on the block when it comes to online bed in the box beds um they listen to any podcast it seems like you're gonna listen to a casper commercial they're everywhere um and and um this is their original one this is they have three models i believe they have this original one and then they also have a couple hybrids and um this one's like their starting point price um i believe last i checked and um it retails for about 875 bucks for a queen size um what i always I'm amused at when I look at these online companies when they first came out they were sold as like the the one size fits all mattress the mattress you know you only need you know one type of mattress but now they have several different models now and a lot of these online mattress companies um, have followed suit so that just always kind of makes me makes me chuckle a bit um, but because like we all know like there's not a one-size-fits-all fits all mattress you know there's so many different body types so many different sleeping styles so you can't just yeah, have a have a one-size-fits-all mattress but anyways um, we wanted to take take it apart I already had it cut open for us and uh, even though it has a zipper I, I still like cutting it open but um so this is their all foam model like I said, the other two models are hybrids. They have some springs in it, but this one's all foam. And so what we have here going on first, I like to start from the outside going in. So we have a nice soft stretch knit material. Now this is their 2017 version. Um, they do have a different cover now. I'm not sure about the quality on the most recent cover, but this, this cover is decent. This cover is actually a, kind of a, a decent weight not a heavy weight but a decent weight with a pretty good stretch to it um, which which is nice when you have an all foam bed so it can conform really well with with the body like as mentioned in other episodes but um, now this material on the top so we have the base layer and then we have the three comfort layers on the top so the 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 layer on the top this one is gonna be it's not memory foam this one is one of the more pro proprietary foams that they have, but it is just, it's like a, it feels like a super soft polyurethane foam. That's what it feels like. It feels like a 1.8 pound um, um, poly foam and like a 19 or 18 ILD, maybe a little bit softer than that, but it's nothing crazy, nothing um, sp special. Now this is where they have memory foam in the middle layer for that pressure relief. Memory foam is really good for like relieving pressure for like the shoulders and the hips. That is one good thing with memory foam. And then on the second or the third layer, you're gonna have the another soft poly foam. Uh, um, it's gonna be probably again, close to like an 18 ILD. Actually, it's gonna be a little bit firmer than this one on the top. I say it's more, more like a medium density. And um, again, you have these three layers, nice little trans transition and each layer is going to be about an inch, a little over an inch thick. So something like an, an inch and a half thick on these. So the, this layer on a mattress, this is meant for pressure relief for like the shoulders and the hips. This layer on the bottom is more meant for the back support. You're gonna get most of the back support on this layer, this is the support layer. And this is a firm, just a firm, high density poly foam. So um, it's good for, you know, if you kind of, this tends to be a firmer mattress for most people. The biggest feedback I get from customers who've had one of these is they say it is on the firmer side. So 
If you're looking for a firmer mattress, it might be okay. If you're looking for a nice soft plush mattress, it's not that soft, not that plush. So, um, and then on this cover right here, now I've already cut, the, cut it open, but this is the, the fire retardant cover. This is the silica rayon um, fire barrier sock that goes around it. Now, I bring this out just because I see this, I've seen this type of cover before. It's actually a very common cover. And you gotta be very careful. It's probably very really hard to detect it on the camera, but there is these little tiny fibers that are almost look like, they almost look like fiberglass. Now, I bring this up because these things can go, go everywhere and it can ruin your clothes they can ruin everything in your house they go everywhere if and if you have a, a mattress with a zipper that you can open up i would definitely either remove this entire thing you know unless you're really concerned about the fire safety of it all but um or just not open not lift open up the cover and and just keep it closed because once these fiber fibers go everywhere they're gonna wreak havoc. you can't get them out of your clothes i've seen People have heard customers wash their clothes several times and with no with no luck on getting it out. So I just bring this up. Just be careful. You know, this is just this horrible. You know, it gets in the air and then you're breathing it in and it's just nasty. So, but this is the Casper mattress. This is, I mean, it's nothing really um, impressive about it on the inside. You know, it's foam, you know, um, price point around 850 to 900 bucks you know, which is, it's okay, you know. If you're in that price point, um, we have our Kensington series, which is a double-sided pocket of spring mattress where you can flip, and that's um, gonna be in that same price point, which which is probably twice the bed on this one. Um, but, I mean, they do such a good job marketing, you almost kind of feel like you have to try it at least, you know, but, but I have seen several of these um, come back now that people have had them for the last few years and a lot of it is the same thing Either it's too firm or it ends up getting that little divot over time and That's because these things break down quick polyurethane does tend to break down much faster than than in natural fibers or or latex So when they first started the the first caspers that they had were they did used to um, use latex and the, the ones that came out like 2014 2015 and then they've taken latex out just because latex is more expensive and they've gotten more to polyurethane um, breathability on this th thing um, it's I know they market it as being like a cool bed but there's really nothing cooling uh, about these materials you know especially when they're glued when they're bonded together like this they're glued together they really don't breathe well that really does inhibit any breathability so um, and I have had customers mention that they do sleep more on the warmer side. So, um, so yeah, just if that's an issue with you, if, if he's an issue with you, then this wouldn't be the best, the best call. But, um, but other than that, yeah, this is Casper mattress. And, um, if you guys are kind of in that price point, like I said, we have the Kensington series, which is, um, a good, a good alternative. Or if you're just looking for, if you're in the mattress shopping mode, and you have questions about mattress shopping, download our guide and go under our website. We have a lot of information on mattress shopping, little tips and, um, and mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys are in the San Diego area, if you guys want to come by and visit one of our showrooms, just come on by or just give us a call. Thanks for watching. Bye.